Okay, students, here we are with an introduction to metric measurement. So we are really introducing the whole metric system here. And the base unit of measurement when you're measuring distance or length is the meter. That means the entire metric system for measuring distance or length is based on the meter. So there's several measurements you need to know. Okay, so first off, if you're measuring something really large, you would need a thousand meters, which equals one kilometer. Right? So that would be distances between cities, uh, distances across the country or around the planet. You would need to use kilometers, and a thousand meters equals one kilometer. Or, or if you're measuring smaller things like a person's height, you would use centimeters, and a hundred centimeters equals one meter. So they took a meter and divided it into a hundred equal parts, and that's a centimeter. All right? Additionally, if you're measuring really small things, you might use millimeters. And a thousand millimeters equals one meter. So a thousand millimeters equals one meter. They took a meter, divided it into a thousand equal parts, they got a millimeter. Okay? And finally, if you did that math, you know that 10 times 100 equals a thousand. So therefore, 10 millimeters equals one centimeter. So you can also break your centimeters into parts and uh, break them into millimeters if you need to. Okay, now here's the deal. You'll be using multiplication and division to convert between units of measurement. So for example, if you had something that was three meters long, you might figure out by multiplying by 100 that you end up with 300 centimeters. So that's how you do and how, how you convert between units of metric distance or length. Okay, so let's practice that a few times on the next page. So here we go. We are now going to practice converting between these different units of measurement. And so um, let's take a look. Now we know that 100 centimeters equals one meter. So we'll go ahead and write that right up here. One meter equals 100 centimeters, right? One meter equals 100 centimeters. So here you have it, two meters, well, how many centimeters is that? Well, you have to multiply by 100 to get centimeters, so you would get 200 centimeters, okay? Therefore, three meters. Well, how many centimeters is that? Well, three times 100 equals 300 centimeters. Now, this is the exact same distance, but you're measuring it with a different unit of measurement. So, you know, a meter is much bigger. It is 100 times bigger than a centimeter. Right? So you have to have more centimeters to equal the same number of meters. Okay, so over here, this time we have to go in reverse. Now we have 400 centimeters. Well, how many meters is that? Well, let's think it through. Okay, so if I had to multiply a meter by 100 to get centimeters, if I have centimeters, I have to divide by 100 to get meters. And if I divide by 100, I'm going to get rid of two of the zeros, and I'm going to end up with four meters. Okay? Down here, seven meters. How many centimeters is that? Well, multiply by 100 and you get 700 centimeters. Okay? And the last but not least, 1,200 centimeters. Well, I need to get back to meters, so I need fewer meters because it's a bigger unit of measurement. I'm going to divide by 100. I take off one, two zeros, and I get 12 meters. Now, it's not always going to be laid out nicely in a chart like this. Sometimes they will just give you different units of measurement right here, just like this. And you say, okay, well, the first thing you want to do is write down the unit of measurement. So one meter here is going to equal 100 centimeters. Okay, well, I have 12 meters. Now, I know to get from 1 to 100, I have to multiply by 100. But if I have meters here and I want to get to centimeters, I have to multiply by 100, right? So I'm going to multiply by 100 here because meters are bigger than centimeters, so to have the same distance and make that equal sign true, I have to have more of these centimeters. So I'm going to get 1,200 centimeters, okay? Now I've switched over to millimeters, right? I have 45 meters, and I need to figure out how many millimeters that is. Well, one meter equals 1,000 millimeters, okay? So if that's the case, I have to multiply by 1,000. Okay, so any time you multiply by 1,000, you're going to add three zeros. So I'm going to end up with 45,000 millimeters because 1,000 is 10 times 10 times 10, right? Okay, so 45,000 millimeters. Over here, this time, 
I've got 7,000 meters, but I want to get to kilometers. And I know that one kilometer equals a thousand meters. So how do I do that? If I want to get from a thousand down to one, I have to divide by a thousand. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to divide by a thousand. And if you multiply by something, you add zeros. Well, if you're dividing by that thousand, you're going to take these zeros away. So 7,000 divided by 1,000, I'm going to take three zeros away. One, two, three. All right, I'll just go ahead and cross them off like that. And I end up with seven kilometers. Okay, next thing here, we've got 700 millimeters. How many centimeters is that going to be? Well, I know that 10 millimeters equals one centimeter. Okay, well, let's think this through now. If I go from 10 down to 1, I'm going to have to divide by 10. So I'm going to do the same thing here, which is going to eliminate one zero, and I'm going to get 70 centimeters. Again, a millimeter is smaller than a centimeter, so I need to divide by 10 in order to get an equivalent distance measured in centimeters there. So there's some basic practice. Let's go ahead and do the challenge. This would be a good time for you to pause the video, see if you can challenge yourself and figure these out. So I'll wait while you pause. Okay, hopefully you pause the video and you tried these problems. Now, if you don't get them right, no big deal. We're learning how to do it. Okay, so here we have eight meters and 75 centimeters. Well, I know that one meter is equivalent to 100 centimeters. And we are trying to figure out just centimeters for this. So we have 8 meters and 75 centimeters. So I'm going to leave this part alone, the 75 centimeters, because that's already converted. But I know that 8 times 100 is going to give me the number of centimeters equal to 8 meters. Okay, So that gives me 800 centimeters there. And 800 plus the 75 I already have gives me a total of 875 centimeters. Okay. Next one, 15 kilometers and 89 meters equals how many total meters? Well, I know that one kilometer equals, one kilometer equals 1,000 meters, right? One kilometer equals 1,000 meters. So I know that I've already got some meters here, so I'm going to ignore that part, and I'm going to focus on the kilometers. 15 times 1,000 is going to give me the number of meters here. So 15 times 1,000 equals 15,000 meters. However, I also have this 89 that I can't forget about, so I'm going to add that back to it. So I will get 15,000, put a zero there to hold the place value, 89 meters. So 15,089 meters is equal to 15 kilometers and 89 meters. And last but not least, we have here 84 millimeters. Okay, now I know that 10 millimeters equals, 10 millimeters equals one centimeter. So this is the trickiest one. We have to break this apart into centimeters and millimeters. How are we going to do this? It's not immediately obvious. So we have to think, okay, 10 millimeters equals one centimeter. So how many times does 10 fit into 84? Well, it fits in there eight times, right? Because eight times 10 is 80. So it's going to fit in there eight times, okay? So we could actually do a division problem like this, 10 into 84. We know it doesn't fit into 8, but it fits into 84 eight times. And if we subtracted 80, we would get 4 left over, right? So if this is 8 and a remainder of 4, which means that you end up with 8 centimeters and 4 millimeters. And if you check that in reverse, you say, okay, I got 8 centimeters, 4 millimeters. 8 times 10 to get millimeters, that's 80 plus 4, and we have 84 millimeters. So this one was a little trickier. You had to work in reverse to get it. Um, this is a you know introduction. I hope you keep practicing. Math takes a lot of practice. So stick with it, and we will get this. Have a great day.